Okay, hello everybody. My name is Chan. Alright, today we're going to talk about IPv6 configuration. Alright, uh, we're going to go through the packet tracer session. And there's four types of addressing in uh, IPv6. Link local, static, auto config, UI64 and DHCP version 6. So let's do a, a link local configuration. You click on the PC configuration uh, desktop then over here you can just put static auto config or whatever you put doesn't really matter all right you immediately you get a link local address for your pc all right in this pc also uh, you got a link local address so you copy over all right stop uh, okay we got static uh, you see uh, copy copy the address then over here uh, this PC you ping all right you get a response so this is the link locker addressing the link locker addressing will start from FE80 okay so now the next thing is you look at uh, static addressing all right static ipv6 uh, static addressing all right so in static addressing the address is given here all right so uh, i already simplified the addressing by using just uh, this one this is the shortest form okay uh, in actual case uh, for uh, this one 200210 okay the complete IP address will be like this this is the network all right network and the host portion will be this one all right okay so the network address will be look like this the network address will look like this this is the network address okay all right so for static ipv6 you can organize your address more neatly lah. this for you uh, so that is easier for you to pin so that's why i organize it to be like this in the static configuration so uh, you can go to here desktop uh, then since it's a static you need to put in the default gateway and the dns configuration if you don't put in your default gateway it will not work okay you can either put in the default gateway address as configured here or you can also put the link locker address both will work link locker address for your lock router it will work okay then this is the dns address okay so let's try to ping the web server all right you can see this is the web server address it will work okay we can do a trace route okay it will also work okay so let's see what you need to configure uh, for the server you need to configure the services the dns you need to put in the address record then put in the name the record and the ip addressing okay for the dns server okay for the World Wide web server uh, over here you can go to a web browser and type in World Wide Web. Okay, you can see there's an IPv6 here. I already configured something. Okay. Uh, over here on the World Wide Web server, you can go to World Wide Web. Uh, then you can edit the HTML file and you can type in anything extra over here. Then to signify your web server. Okay. Then on the router side, for you to configure the routing uh, first you need to enable the ipv6 unicast routing on the config mode then you go to the interface each of the interface all right and you enable the ipv6 uh, then you just add in the ip address okay then it will work this is the static ipv6 addressing so you can let's try out okay it will be successful okay so this is static ipv6 addressing 
All right. Now we go to the EUI64 addressing. Uh, this is the file. EUI64 addressing. Uh, okay. In EUI64, uh, we still use the same network because this part is the server. The server you use static IP. It's quite difficult for you to use uh, EUI64. Okay? Because uh, you can see from here the PC. All right? Uh, you get the network address from the router. So the network address here, it will be the network address that I use is 2001 okay slash 64 this is the network address for you okay as far as the configuration side on the router all you need to do is the same like the static IP except that only on the addressing part you need to add in this EUI 64 and you don't need to add the last digit okay just put in the network prefix uh, what is the router MAC address what is the router IPv6 address so show IPv6 interface brief so you can see uh, this is the FS00 IPv6 address they take the MAC address of the router and add the FFFE in the between with a tool in front, okay? And add the network prefix, okay? This for FA01 is the static IP address. Uh, so we it remain like this, okay? Uh, basically, this is the IP address, okay? Let me copy it down. All right, this is the IP address, okay? Uh, so this is the network prefix, okay? This is the complete IPv6 address. From here, you can see. All right. This is the 64-bit EUI. Okay. This is the 64-bit EUI address. Okay. From this 64-bit, okay, the MAC address is actually 00 E0 uh, F8. Okay, this is the router MAC address. Okay, this is the router MAC address. Okay, so what happened is that they changed this into 02. Okay, 02. Okay, they changed this, alright, to become uh, 02. That mean, means that it's global. All right, unicast. Okay. From zero zero, they change this to zero two. Uh, okay. This part. Let me make it bigger. Uh, make it bolder. Okay. Oh, cannot. Uh, okay, never mind. Zero zero, they make it to zero two. Okay. Then what happened is that they will become here. This is two. Then here, what they do, they inserted the FFFE here. Okay, so that will become your EUI64 address. Okay, so if you use the EUI64 address, okay, first thing is you have some problem with the DNS. You cannot get the DNS server information. Okay, you cannot get the DNS server information because auto config does not give you the dns okay so that's one problem with it okay the second problem is it's quite difficult for you to ping because the address look like this okay the address look like this is quite difficult for you to ping all right but you can still be pingable so if you don't believe me you can type ipv6 config uh, you get the ip address okay this is the IP address, you copy Then let's go to the server And you do a ping Okay, you got a response, okay 
all right ah then you can ping anywhere you can still got successful all right uh, it failed probably because of the dns okay what is this pc oh this one i i, I didn't put okay this is auto config uh, okay so this one you can ping no problem okay this one i just leave it there static all right uh then another thing the dns doesn't work suppose you ping all right you cannot get the dns all right the dns will not work okay okay any questions so far no uh, on auto config all right so then let's move on okay to solve this problem uh, we will use DHCP v6 all right in DHCP v6 all right so DHCP v6 is actually using auto config that give you the EUI 64 to the end station as well okay but then you get able to give the IPv6 uh, end station the DNS server information so you can see here from this topology this PC one using DHCP uh, oh. Okay, let me do a fast forward so that you can okay then you can see the DNS information is here okay the DNS information is here you can get the IPv6 address okay here I configure it as auto config it still can get everything but uh, it failed to get uh, okay you get the IP address and you see the default gateway is the router link locker address okay it still can ping all right all the PC still can ping but the only problem is that there's no DNS information in auto config whereas in DHCP there's a DNS information how do you configure so uh, the file is already available I'm going to upload it to everyone you can get a look at it so it's a bit complicated uh, you have to enable the IPv6 addressing uh, you have to enable DHCP server on the interface DHCP server you have to bind the DHCP server on the interface and you have to configure a DHCP pool all right uh, these are some of the configuration okay and you have to put in the DNS server information on your DHCP pool and you bind the pool to the interface then it will work okay so uh, these are the four kind of addressing used in IPv6 as far as packet tracer is concerned so I hope you can understand clearly if you don't know anything send us an email uh, uh, the email here is Cisco MMU at gmail.com okay all the files will be uploaded into the google drive for your reference all right the next one we'll cover is on the routing thank you